This dental phobic patient was referred to us for endodontic treatment of tooth number 11. Porcelain crown on the tooth. And you can see a peripical relucency right there. That's why it's important to tell your dentist or the specialist that you are referred to during the consultation visit. It's important to let them know that you have dental anxiety, dental phobia, because we have ways that we can manage that for you. Well, this patient, this patient didn't didn't let us know during the examination that um, original examination initial examination initial evaluation that he that she had dental phobia she only told us when she was we were ready to give her the local anesthetic and get get it going she started to shiver shake and um, hyperventilate we were able to calm her down but um, um, she did she did fine after the uh, initial injection the local anesthetic but um, we could have done a lot more we could have probably perhaps sedated her or given her uh, oral anxiolytic to calm her down to calm her nerves but anyways it's important um, if you are a patient if and uh, you ever need a root canal uh, please let us know beforehand that you have dental anxiety, dental phobia. There are ways that we can manage that for you. You don't have to suffer. This patient didn't suffer, but um, she was very anxious, very nervous. She was shaking, as I said, and um, hyperventilating. And if she had told us that she had dental phobia, we could, have, we could have addressed all of that. So she didn't even have to shake and shiver and hyperventilate during this appointment for a few minutes. It was just a few minutes, but we, it could have been easily avoided. Anyways, so today went ahead and went through the porcelain crown and did this root canal for her in one appointment. Let's take a look. And here's the post-op. Working length was 27 millimeters. 27 millimeters. And take a look at the apical area here. And then bifurcates so one canal and then bifurcates the apical few millimeters there was a nice curvature there and that curvature was actually towards the buckle or labial so it was this way that's why you see that you see that round round um, radio opacity so the end of the root had a curve and the curve was is kind of like that all right and there is a little kind of bifurcation as you can see there as well everything went great patient because this patient had dental phobia she requested please don't put a temporary filling in there then I have to go to my dentist and and uh, um, get get more injections to have the temporary drilled out and permanent filling put in just please go ahead and do the permanent build up yourself and that's what we did as well so did the root canal and went ahead and put the permanent build up in for her as well she doesn't need a new crown the crown is fine